Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we start the week on very high spirits. Happy Monday, everyone, and I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. I had quite a quiet one, um, as it was my girlfriend's birthday, and um, I spent a lot of time wishing her a happy birthday. But last week was amazing, and I didn't really have time to film even like a reaction or an after video of what Top Gear on Wednesday was actually like. It was unbelievable. I will talk a lot more about the day and also yesterday, Sunday, when the episode aired on um, how that affected my phone, my phone's battery, and also my Twitter account because it was really, really hard to keep up. But today I'm back at SB Race Engineering office where they've got a lot of exciting projects going on downstairs, which I will explain as well. Today is just going to be a Monday vlog update because this week I have got videos coming out every single day. So last week, I think I only did one or two videos, which um, I apologize about and However, I am going to be making up for it this week as there's going to be daily video blogs or vlogs as I've uh, become accustomed to calling them um, and also some really, really cool, cool videos coming that I'm going to be filming one tomorrow and the video is going to be going live tomorrow. And then I'm going to be taking my car over to Gad Tuning on the Friday to have a full engine makeover which I am really excited about. And I said on Twitter that my car is gonna be pretty much better than brand new after GAD Tuning and Aspect Valeting have had their way with it, which I'm really excited about. And obviously um, some people uh, found it quite difficult to understand what better than brand new is. And then I sort of realized that better than brand new is near enough impossible to do. But when I watched Ben from Aspect Valeting detail a brand new McLaren 650S, a 250,000 pound McLaren, and seeing it, how it came from Woking at the McLaren headquarters, and then seeing what the guys at the dealership would have done to the car in terms of getting it ready for the customer. And then seeing what Ben did uh, from Aspect Valeting, then you will sort of get a grip, get to grips with what better than brand new is. I know that it's quite difficult. However, Ben from Aspect Valeting, who I was on Top Gear with on Sunday, we were both talking yesterday saying that our Twitter and Instagram accounts have just gone <laughs> absolutely mental, and I will get up into that in a minute. But Ben is gonna be um, ceramic coating my car in the baby blue so that it is gonna be looking absolutely sparkling clean. He hasn't actually touched the car uh, when it's been baby blue. He did a full deep detail on it when it was red and gold in the Iron Man theme, which was, uh, it made it look completely brand new, and then Gadget tuning as well are doing some bits and pieces to the engine which I'm really excited just to uh, feel the difference because they said there's going to be a huge difference in terms of what my car is currently running at the moment to what they're going to be able to produce once that is done and that's going to be on Friday and then on Saturday uh, you will all know Barry from SB Race Engineering he is getting married and the coolest bit about this day on Saturday is that he's going to be turning up to his wedding in a LaFerrari and I I haven't got close to one or up close to one that often. Uh, the last one was probably during the summer when uh, the guy from Qatar came over with the P1 Bugatti Veyron and LaFerrari. So I'm really excited about this Saturday. Not so much about Barry's wedding, more about the LaFerrari that's going to be there. And I'm going to be uploading a video on Saturday evening about uh, the time that a LaFerrari came to Watford. Ooh, where's my phone? We were um, really, really lucky to get to the front for the star and the reasonably priced car. And we did this because when it went on the break, we knew that the next bit was going to be the star and the reasonably priced car. So we put ourselves right at the front in order to get behind Jeremy Clarkson so that we could get ourselves on TV. And was I expecting um, the activity on Twitter of everyone that was able to spot me? No. Definitely not. I went on Twitter analytics this morning and I've seen that yesterday at uh, the time between um, 7 and 9 o'clock in the evening that my Twitter account had around 100,000 views and overall over the last 28 days it shot up to over a million views um, in the last 28 days which is uh, statistics that I can't comprehend and um, they're sort of new milestones that I've never been able to hit on Twitter. And also thank you everyone for uh, making me reach 10,000 followers followers on Twitter. I've been doing this for about two and a half years, I think, on Twitter now. So thank you everyone 
for helping me get to 10,000. I'm on Twitter every day and every evening, so if you don't follow me yet, I will put all of the links in the description so that you can join in with all of the conversations, discussions, and everything that we have, that we get involved in on Twitter. So um, Top Gear was absolutely insane yesterday. I was so nervous. It felt like I was, um, my part was coming up in the school play. You know when you're um, ready, you've rehearsed your lines, and you're really, really nervous because the next person that speaks is then you're after that. Basically, that's how I felt when I knew that my face was going to be on Top Gear and millions of people were going to watch it. And I'm so thankful to everyone that screenshotted it and took a picture and spotted me and then tweeted me because um, I couldn't cope. I couldn't understand how all of the notifications were coming through. It was absolutely insane. My mum didn't understand it and um, I ended up being on my phone for the rest of the evening. So um, it was definitely an experience and a fun one at that. So as most of you will know, the time has come, the first week of March has come, which means in the automotive world, the Geneva Motor Show is just around the corner and this week is going to be a couple of press days and then it will be open to the public by the weekend. And unfortunately, I did get asked quite a lot whether I was going to be attending and I did have my press pass ready and waiting, it's in, it's in an email. But unfortunately, I just cannot get out there this week as much as I would have loved to have gone. This week, I've got some fantastic videos like I've mentioned, and tomorrow, um, one of the main videos is gonna be going live tomorrow evening on the Tuesday, which is me meant that I can't attend the Geneva Motor Show, which um, is unfortunate because every single car manufacturer has got a fantastic new car arriving and gonna get unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show. Ferrari are bringing out the 488 GTB. Lamborghini are bringing out the Aventador SV. Porsche have got a couple of cars. McLaren are bringing out the seven, uh, 675 LT and the P1 GTR. Audi, of course, are bringing the Audi R8 V10 and V10 Plus, along with a lot of other rumors Kernegzeg are bringing a car, Pagani are apparently bringing a car, Bugatti potentially could be bringing a car. So it is all happening at Geneva. And of course, um, all of the tuning manufacturers, Novitech, DMC, Haman, uh, all of these guys are bringing their cars as well to show off as well, which is going to be an insane show. And uh, because I can't be there, then I was umming and ahhing about whether I was going to do a video summarising some of the cars that are being launched and talking about some of my opinions. So if you want to see a Supercars of London style car news, similar to what Top Gear is when they just talk about the cars that are coming out and I'll uh, share my opinion and some of the stats and details and prices and things like that, let me know in the comment box below on whether you'd like to see a video like that and I'll hopefully get one by the end of the week or by the week as well or whenever you think is best to upload a video talking about some of the highlights from the Geneva Motor Show. Monday vlog update nearly finished. Like I said, this week is going to be full of daily videos of everything that I get up to. I've got a very busy week ahead of me and I can't wait to bring you guys in on my journey and my adventures heading across to Essex on Friday for GAD tuning for them to uh, really fix up my car. I'm hopefully going to be filming four videos that day which are going to give you an insight into what the Audi 4.2 litre V8 FSI engine is like and what is best to do to give it that TLC to make sure that it is running absolutely superbly. The guys down at GAD Tuning are absolute specialists, so that video is going to be really interesting. So this week, there's loads and loads of stuff happening on Supercars of London, so if you don't subscribe or you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, like, and comment your um, ideas and your suggestions for the videos this week, including to the Geneva Motor Show. And um, I am about to get this video edited, get this video online on YouTube so you guys can enjoy it. And um, thank you for watching. I know this is quite a short Monday vlog update and I'm just standing here in the SB Race Engineering office, but I can assure you the videos coming this week and next are gonna be making up for it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching um, Top Gear yesterday and uh, spotting me. If you haven't, then uh, definitely catch up on it on BBC iPlayer because it's a really, really good episode as well. Very, very funny one. And um, yes, thank you for 10,000 uh, followers on Twitter as well. You guys are amazing. All of the details and links of my social media is in the comment box, not the comment box, the
the description box of this YouTube video and I'll continue to do that so you guys can uh, join me on Twitter and Instagram as well. Thank you guys and I will see you tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and uh, probably for the rest of the week, that, that week as well. And then it, it's going to be continual guys, I assure you. Supercars in London now is going to ramp up towards the summer when the sun hits and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.